kind of love for life. I'm not talking about those who love living and love life. This word here is called philautos. P-H-I-L-A-U-T-O-S. It's a Greek word that means selfish, self-centeredness. It's when we began to put ourself in the center of our lives. Amen. Amen. When asked, when asking a group of men about their lives, and whenever I hear them say that I think about my family and this and that and the other, and then I ask them, where do you put your money? And of course, if they're addicts, their money goes toward their drugs. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. If they're womanizers, their money goes toward their women. Mm -hmm. Amen. If they are infatuated with their men, <coughs> that's where they put their money. Can I get an amen? Amen. amen. And if your children are just in the center, then that's where your attention lies. Jesus made it very simple. He said, wheresoever a man heart is, that's where his money will be. So if we put God in the center of our lives, not allow him to be the co-pilot, but allow him to be the pilot. Allow him to be the center of all that we do. And then we can understand and enjoy the outcome of what our lives, present Amen. and future, Amen. will be. Amen. But if we are there in that center, then we are going to lose in the long run. Mm. Long run. That self-centeredness is a focus upon oneself and one's own pleasure and flesh instead of God and other people. Someone ought to be saying that. Amen. Amen. To put oneself before others that means to put oneself before wife, husband, parents, child, friend, neighbor, and God. Put one's own will before God. We spent some time talking about will, didn't we? Yes. We said that God, that we want God's will done in our lives. Mm -hmm. That means that our will have to be set aside. Amen. But if you're still operating in your will, what well, you're saying, God, I'll listen to you later. But for right now, I am the center of my life. You see, when we are self-centered, we seek our own desires without considering others. You've heard the express expression that how people run over, uh, pass by folks on their way up the ladder to success, that they'll do anything to get there. Anyone know anybody like that? Mm -hmm. They don't care who they stab in the back. Don't care who they run over. Don't care who they throw under the bus. As long as it's not me. Amen. As long as it's not them. Amen. 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 You see, when you are so self-centered, you don't care about anyone else. The only thing that matters is yourself. You are like the captain of the ship that went down in the Mediterranean. While people were dying, he was the first one off the ship. Amen. 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 And when asked, he said, I was the last one off. <laughs> well. But as they investigated, they found that the captain, when he knew he was in trouble, right. he got out of Dodge. It was like every man for himself and God for us all. Okay. I'm out of here. Amen. That's the kind of world. That's the kind of sign, a mark of a godless kind of world. They go after what they want. They don't care who they hurt, who they run over. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog mentality. Amen. They feel like everyone and everything should evolve around them and them alone. Somebody ought to say amen. amen. That has no place in the house of God. But it seemed like you can easily creep in and take control. Whenever we start to focus on our own pleasures and flesh and ignore the crying needs of the desperate and dying, that's when we are self-centered. Self-love sets one up like a God and feel that nothing matters as much as, as, as much as the pleasure of oneself. In these last days, we'll find out 
that people will love themselves more than they love anyone else. Selfishness will be one of the terrible marks of these last days. And we see it for those in the political arena. When they go to D.C., they're the first to get a raise. When asked to give a dime to anyone that a mother whose child need a meal, they say that we are giving them too much already. Amen. Amen. They have a job, health insurance for themselves, but they don't want anybody else Amen. to get a job or health insurance. Amen. They vote for theirs. All right. And we send them there to vote for theirs. Amen. But when it's our time, Amen. we get zero. Amen. Can I get a witness? Amen. Jesus put it this way. When we are living in a selfless uh, when we are living in a God-fearing world. I was a stranger. And you took me in. I was naked. And you gave me clothes. I was sick. You cared for me. Uh -huh. And I was in prison. And you visited me. In a godless world. I was a stranger. And you took me not in. Well. You didn't even take any money down to the homeless shelter to make sure that they can give somebody a bed. Okay. Amen. 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 I was naked. You didn't uh -huh. give me any clothes. I was sick and in prison. And you didn't even come to see how I was doing. Amen. 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 Matthew 25, verse 43. 2 Timothy 3, 1 through, 2, 1 through 2, it says... This notes also that in the last days perilous times shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own self, self-centered. Then you have people who will be covetous. Oh, you know how that goes. The word here means they will be lovers of money, and they will have a passion for it. Not only for the money, but for their own passions as well. People will want more and more, bigger, and bigger, better, and better. Isn't that how we are? We have a car, it's working very fine, mm -hmm. very nice. Mm -hmm. But we pass another car that gets our attention. Mm -hmm. Right away we said, I want that automobile as well. Right. We're never satisfied in, in this godless culture. Mm -hmm. We just want to keep striving for more and more and more. Bigger and bigger and bigger, and what we think is better and better and better. The last time I checked, I don't know about you, but my rusty pickup truck and Mercedes Benz still have to stop at the red light. Neither uh -huh. <laughs> one of us can move till that red light says green. Amen. 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 Still gets me from point A to point B. Right. Amen. That ride may be a little smooth. Mm -hmm. Mine's paid for. Hallelujah. Yes, in the last day, people will focus on money, banking more and more. It blows me away how Bubba and the boys on the corner are look as drug kingpins. Amen. Amen. But the bankers downtown that launders their money. Are looked upon as respectable citizens. Somebody help me understand that. Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. How is it? How is it that Pookie and the boys get 10 to 15? <laughs> Banker goes down to Florida and stays in a minimum security where he can come and go like he wants. Amen. Still say he's in prison. All right. Gets out of jail. And goes back to that same job. But our brother's on the corner. Amen. 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 They won't even look at his application. So now. So now. Amen. Amen. Light bulbs ought to be going off in our head and we ought to be thinking about this godless world that we are living in now. Houses in the best neighborhood. We want them on the seashore and in the mountain and by the river. We want the best furnishing and the best property. 
Some people have two and three homes. You can only live in one at a time. That's right. That's right. Possessions. We have more stuff than we can wear. Amen. 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 I'm going to let y'all know I'm guilty well. of this one. Because I've had some clothes in the closets I forgot about. Have so many. Amen. My wife go digging in the closet and she said, you got this in here. And look, the tag's still on. Well, yeah. Yeah. Now listen, I, I got to preach to me too now. Amen. Man, I'm getting away Amen. with this. Amen. Amen. My son came home one Christmas. He didn't. He left his jacket. And he went thumbing, thumbing through the closet. And he found the jacket with the tag on it. Yeah. And I said, I forgot I had that one in there. Well. I said, you keep that one. And he said, well, the Lord sent me here to get that check. And I said, he sure did. Yeah. Amen. 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 It fit him better than it fit me. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But that's how, thing, that's how we have got. We have more clothes, more jewelry. We want antiques, arts, vehicles, travel. We want to see more and more sites. We want property, stocks, bonds. We want, listen, we want so much that we forget about what we have. Amen. 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 Jesus says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his, and his righteousness, and all these things will be added on, unto you. Amen. Men will become lovers of money. Amen. Want to buy, want, see, men will love money. What it buys and allow them to do, they will covet more and more and more. I found out in life that that's one thing that some people will never get enough of, according to them, is money. When they get one at one point, then they want another point. And they keep setting their goals higher and higher and higher. And I want you all to know something. That when you leave here, you're going to leave all that stuff that's right, right here with you. Right. Our verse lets us know that men will become boasters, braggers, pretenders, vaunting, swaggers. Amen. It is a person who boasts in what he has. I, I, don't, I don't run a roll with people who are always bragging about what they have. Uh -huh. Know anybody like that? Uh -huh. Know anybody that talks about their house, about their car, uh -huh. talk about their possessions? Uh -huh. and another thing that gets me to scrub is to brag about what somebody else has. Well. My homeboy has, my homeboy got. I'm hanging with my homeboy, I'm with my homegirl. <clears throat> They got this, they got that. Well, what do you have? Well, well. Amen. 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 Some people are just pretenders. Oh, Jesus. They pre pretend to have what he does not have mm -hmm. or to do what he has not done. That's right. That's right. Bragging it involves a job, a deal, a possession, an achievement, anything that may impress others. I've learned in life that if you just be yourself, whether you have a lot or whether you have a little. If you carry yourself in a respectable manner, folks will want to be around you. They want to be in your company, regardless of the stuff that you may have. Sometimes we have to ask ourselves the question, do I have the stuff or do the stuff have me. Oh, help me preach Go ahead now. Amen. Some of us, our stuff has us. Amen. And what do I mean by that? We owe everybody for our stuff. Amen. Amen. We even have teachers who pretend to be wise. Politicians who pretend to have the ultimate of a utopian state. Amen. Business people who pretend to have a product that brings health, beauty, and happiness. We even have religious leaders in the church who pretend, who pretend to have the revelation gift to be more spiritual than everyone else. Amen. 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 They have a gimmick and some people fall for it. Right. Amen. Amen. We also have people who are self-exalted. They're conceited, proud, boastful, arrogant. In these latter days, we have individuals that's always out front, hardy, thinking about them, their abilities, the gifts that they have, always putting themselves above others and looking down on other people. 
You better be careful with that. Amen. 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 That old adage is that the same folk you meet on your way up. Yeah. Way down. Way down. Way down, you're going to cross their paths as well. Amen. Amen. They always want to show off what they have. You know, pride comes before fall. Oh, don't you let don't you get a big head about what you have accomplished? You ought to thank God that you're able to get it done. Say amen. amen. Thank God that you are where you are because without him, you would not have nothing. That's, that's how our culture has become. We're bragging about what we have, who we are, who we know. Name drop everywhere we go. But I want you to know that God resists the proud. Yes, he does. Amen. Amen. God resents those who are of a high mind of itself. In Proverbs 24, 21 and 4, it says, A high look and a proud heart, and the plowing of the wicked is sin. What he's simply saying, when you think you're higher than someone else, yeah. amen. You're proud about who you are? He said, all your work comes to naught. It's nothing but sin. Because all your work is about who? Yourself. That's why I'm so glad we can come to church and say, to God be the glory yeah. for all that he has done. See, a person with a Christian heart always put God first in everything that they do and that they say. How are you doing today? I thank God I feel good as I do. Or I thank God it's as good as it is. Amen. How are you today? I'm blessed of the Lord. Amen. How are things going for you? Without God, I wouldn't be feeling this good. Amen. Somebody give the Lord a hand click. Amen. Always, never embarrassed and never ashamed to say what the Lord is doing for them right now. Amen. God woke me up this morning. God gave me active use of my limbs. God allowed me to come here. If it wasn't for God, I'd be out of my mind. If it wasn't for God, I wouldn't have food on my table. We understand the source of everything that we have, that it comes from God. We're not here to brag. We're not here to boast. Because just as quickly as you have it, it can be gone. Just as quickly as you have it, your ability to hold on to it can be gone. Sickness and, and disease can take stuff away from you so quick. You wonder what happened. Amen. Amen. Man, the scriptures talk about that there will be those who are blasphemers. Someone say amen. Amen. A blasphemer, this word means to slander, to insult, to rail, revolve, reproach, curse. Blasphemy is usually used, it's, blasphemy is usually thought to be against God, which it is, but it's also a sin against another human being. Do you ever think about it that way? That you can blaspheme a man, or blaspheme a woman? That you can be uh, cursing or insulting others? Amen? Amen. Particularly everyone is cursing and, and reviling someone's mother, father, children, teacher, professor, actors, comedians, all these individuals that are blasphemous and some don't even know it. Say so, amen. amen. They feel the need to do it. I, I don't want to name any comedians or anyone like that because I don't want to fall into being what I... Being what I'm 